What is up guys, using A here, like the fifth take of this one tutorial because we have a few rodents in the house that won't shut up. So um, <clears throat> I have a few updates real quick before we get on with this find edges trick tutorial that you guys might be able to see on the screen. Uh, let's stop where I'm previewing now because it's a little distracting for me. Um, update number one, I'm going to be gone for three weeks. Yeah, uh, short notice I know, but... Man, I'm going to camp for three weeks. I'm going to try to stay active by uh, po uploading videos as private and making them public while I'm there. Uh, I don't know if it pops up in your sub box. Uh, if it doesn't, comment below. If it does, still comment below saying that it does so I know for sure. But uh, yeah, another, t another update uh, is that I'm going to have to change channels. Uh, I'm going to make a video about it explaining why later. Not now. So uh, be expecting uh, a new channel when I come back, and no, I will not sell this one, unless it's like some ridiculously high price. So, because uh, I, never mind. So onto the tutorial. Um, this will be a find edges trick. I'll run preview for you guys right now. Ah shit. Yeah, fucked up. But anyways, you guys know the, you guys know it. Um. Instead of it coming up like this really fast, I just want it to stay down, so just copy this keyframe. Go over here, look back at frame. There. So it'll stay down. Over here. Go over here. Alright, well, anyways, you guys get the, you guys get it now. Um, let me run preview for you guys again. It just goes down, um, it has some edges, and before I really start this tutorial, um, I just want to let you guys know that it looks a lot different on quarter than it does on full. Uh, example, look at, actually, I'll go down here. Look at it here. If I go to full, that green is it's less bulgy I guess it's not much there so uh, this isn't exactly the best clip to do it because there are not that many edges um, like that afghan that you saw on pure I did the same trick where there is a lot of stuff there so it was a lot easier to catch edges and stuff so um, you, what you're gonna wanna do to do this trick thingy is you're gonna I have my CC and my clip uh, let's go layer, new adjustment layer Drag it under your CC and let's rename it Edges. And now we are going to look up Find Edges, drag it on, and then this should be fine. Now look up CC Toner and drag it under. Now make all of it black. And then uh, Shadows, change it to uh, like green. And it makes it like that. If you invert it though, it uh, inverts the shadows and the highlights and midtones stay the same, I believe. So, uh, oh, fuck. you're gonna wanna change all of this to black now. The bottom two to black and the top one to green. So it has the same effect. And then now, I'm just gonna add levels just to touch it up. Uh, drag down, or make it brighter, and then make it darker. So we have a little bit of contrast, and then I'm going to add some fast blur. Not that much, just a little. Uh, try three. It's a little. Uh, actually, I'm going to try two. And then uh, what you're going to want to do is take your rectangle tool with your mask. Make sure your edges are selected, and just make a rectangle. Uh, as big as you want, as small as you want, doesn't matter. All personal preference. So I'll make it this big. And then, uh, let's drag this up. Uh, you want to open up your mask properties, so click M on your keyboard with edges selected, and you'll have mask path. So, um, while your mask path is selected, just uh, for max hold command, and then click and hold and drag it up, and then it'll move and it won't mess up the mask. So, um, I want this thing to go down, take 40 frames and move down. So we keyframed it there, we're gonna keyframe it here and just move it down, same way that you moved it up. 
and then uh, we're gonna copy this keyframe and go to the next beat. These all are beats. I just I'm not gonna have music because you guys don't like it when I have music, and I don't blame you. It's really loud because I don't talk that loud. So um, you wanna take that last keyframe, go to the next beat, go one frame back, paste. Then you want to copy these two, go forward one frame, and then paste. And copy all of this. Go to the next beat, back, paste. And then now, uh, if we ran preview, it'll look like this. But this isn't what we want so far. Um, it doesn't look uh, as clean. And how we can make it look cleaner is, you see, it's very sharp the edges so you want to go to your mask and you go to feather and bring the feather to like five and it looks like shit now but if we go to full it looks normal it looks feathered and it looks fine also the CC isn't the best um let's see if I can overdo it uh, adjustment layer let's look at the panda CC I've used this example a lot Boom! Yeah. It, it distorts a lot of everything under it. So, yeah. But. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the CC that I had. Um, it's pretty much how you do the find edges trick. Uh, you just wanna make sure it pops up on every beat. And I will try to make a tutorial right after this uh, with like syncing flow tutorial. Um, it, I'm pretty sure it'll help a lot of you guys out a lot. Um, it made no sense, but whatever, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This has been using AE, and I am out. Peace. Peace.